Go to YouTube? No. Talk to your friends? No. Talk to Jerry Park? No. <laughs> we look at the Bible. And the Bible says what? Hands the secret. It's open secret. It's a secret can be opened and then analyzed. Okay? And then this is one of the most profound uh, the secret of marriage. For this reason, for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife. And two will become one flesh. So what is marriage? Marriage involves what? What's for this reason? Just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. For this reason, not because you like that person or that person, because just Jesus loved us. It's the for this reason. For this reason. And what do you do? After you receive Jesus' grace, what do you do? You leave for this reason. A man. A man. Baby cannot marry, okay? Child cannot marry. A man. Come on, it should be a man to marry, okay? A man. And man makes decision. What kind of decision he makes? For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother. Okay, so I'll tell you about my perspective on this for this take, okay? So man has how many heart? One. One heart. <laughs> One heart. Okay? And I was a mommy boy, okay? Before marriage. But today I married, my heart moved over. I couldn't see my mother for a long time. For 10 years I couldn't see my mother. What do I see? I saw my, my wife. And then after, after living for a long time, I can, I can see my mother. So, <laughs> a father and mother, it's not relevant. Right? You leave father and mother. So, so that means you are not, we are not, you, when you marry, you cannot bring your father and mother. And you cannot bring your cultural baggage. You cannot bring what your father did, what mother did. No, you leave your father and mother. That's it. You leave father and mother. And then you are united in Jesus. So you cannot have any excuse that because my father did this, I'll do this. Because my mother did this, I'll do this. You are not defined by history. You are defined by for this reason. For this reason. And it's hard. Hard for me. Hard for my mother, okay? Because my heart moved over. I gave all my money to my wife. And I took all the money and then I even took some furniture from my mother's house and moved to my house, okay? So, so, that's a secret. So, you know, your wife becomes primary. Number one. Lady. Man, move over. It's hard to move over. So I saw some man's computer, and then I saw on the desktop, daughter's picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! He read this one. A man will leave his father and mother and then unite his wife. Put pictures, wife picture, okay? Not daughter's picture. So that, so that. We have this kind of, kind of, kind of strange idea, you know. When you marry, when you marry, children is not primary. Wife is a primary. Because even though wife forget the reason, and then they think that children are more important. Right? No, no. You put the wife picture first, okay? And then, and then when you have some space, then. You know, Fourth layer you put the children. <laughs> a man will leave his father and mother and be united his wife. And that is a man's secret marriage. Because the, 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 the one, one thing that you really get into problem is that you put your children first off above your wife. I know it's hard because I know some so, so, so mothers are very, you know, laughing and <laughs> And then they put the, uh, no, husband is not fun anymore, okay? <laughs> After, honeymoon is over, but still I love my ch children. Come on. 
<laughs> That's not people call, okay? Unite is one, and you become one unit. And that is a secret. That is a secret. It's, it's a mystery. And two become one. It's a mystery, a secret. You know, one plus one equals one. One plus one, Jerry? One. Secret. Profound mystery. Two become one. Okay. okay, so, and that's what I'm saying. Okay, one plus one. So, uh, and then, and then, husband says to wife, you are no longer you, but me. I will take care of you. That's the profound secret. And then if you don't do that, you are still in your problems. So the secret is that you unite it and you become one plus one equals one. And then one plus one equals can be five. Do you know why? Children come out, okay? Right? And one plus one, it can, it can be 12. And 25, you know? So no problem so, so it's a profound mystery. Unless two become one, no children come out. So I, I really want to you know, unite this wife, and two will become one. one. That means you share everything with your wife. Because one of the problems with the, not following the biblical principle and the cohabitation is that in order to call habitation to work, you have to tell that the person, you have to unify the free not nuptial agreement. So, okay, this is what to do. I will have my own stuff for me. There are some areas you cannot touch me. You are not, we are not one, but we are two. So we draw the wall and say, hey, don't touch me, so I don't will touch you, okay? So let's be, a, let's be uh, civilized and then let's, 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 let's not share everything. And so your bank account, your bank, bank account, my bank, bank account, whatever I think is my way, and then you, 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 be, you don't become a, and then you disappoint me, I take off. I can find somebody else. So it's, it's not going to work. So it, the, 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 the secret doesn't work. And then, especially, uh, we believe that in regard to faith, how we believe God has to be shared. Without that, two will never become one. So we, we, we believe that that's very important. Because what, you, what will make you complete, fulfilled, ultimate, is God, we believe. And that's not shared, then what can you share? And so uh, it's a profound mystery. And the two will become one flesh. And when you look at Genesis chapter 2, they are naked and they feel no shame. And that close. Because one person who knows your flaw, who knows your deeply, is your spouse. you cannot hide. You cannot hide. Lie to wife. You know, wife is a lie detector. Okay? You'll find out it's not there. Okay? You lie. And then one person who deeply understands you and accepts you, regardless who you are, is your wife. So, so Paul calls this is a profound mystery. It's a profound secret. And then, okay, is that it? No. A, the, the, the conclusion comes later, okay? So what's the conclusion? I, and I thought that after, after I read this, I said, oh, it's about well, my marriage. No, no, I said, but I am talking about Christ and the church. So if you read Ephesians chapter 30 uh, to 32, we will and finish where? 
you and your marriage, and then your parents' marriage, and then your, your other people's marriage. But Paul says, let's, let's move on and let's go to Jesus. The secret of marriage is this. But I'm talking about Christ and the church. So let's talk about Christ and church. Who is Christ? And, and the first Bible says, Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. This is Christ. Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. That's Christ. Right? So we believe that Christ, the, the God, came to us. And then he looked at us. And then Christ knows everything. In spite of who we are, he gave himself for us. And he died for us. Gave himself for us. Christ did not jump off the ship. Or he only lived the cohabitation. And he did not uh, have an option B. When the things get tough, when the bride denied Jesus, he stayed on the cross. Christ loved us. And what's a church? The church is a uh, bridegroom of Jesus. Church is what church? So when you think about church, we have some ideas because we grow up in a Christian culture. Church is not a building. Church is not made of church going ladies, okay? But church is the beautiful bride of Jesus. Purchased by the blood of Jesus. And then God forgave us and made us clean. And then Christ made us. And that's a church. And then we see Paul said that's a secret of marriage. We want to know what is marriage? So what's, what's the secret of marriage? Let me tell you something. You know, marriage for me 20 years of practicing it was one of the most difficult things I ever did in my life. A million times harder than PhD. Sorry. A million times studying to chemistry. Because it has to do with the Christ and the church. So hard. I said, I ask God, so hard, you know. Why so hard? I said, this love should be so, so, so spontaneous, so free, and so, so, what, what, so, like, uh, natural? Why so difficult? Why is God? <coughs> Why life so difficult? Why studying chemical engineering is so difficult? If you want to do something worthwhile, it's not easy. Suppose you want to play piano. Play for it. Take a lesson, it's a natural thing. Oh, do we know that? If you want to play basketball, it's going to be easy for you. No, you make your knees and then crush bones and then. You got, you got hit, it's all so hard. But when you play, enjoy it. It is, it is most glorious. It is most glorious. It is most glorious. Because marriage is, can be the most difficult thing for you, but yet it is the most glorious. Because the Bible says it's about Christ and the church. Right? So we, we have to think about that. So, when the things get tough in the marriage, what do you do? What's the secret that holds that two become one? That's Christ and the church. And then we use that it's not me, it's, it's a one Christ. So, I, that doesn't mean that I learned everything, that I learned everything, but I'm, I'm trying to learn, and it's hard. 
but it is most glorious. Because, and how do you do the heavenly secret? Christ loved the church. That's it, because, you know, I lived uh, with a one lady for a long time, and she knows exactly what I need to do. And then she cracks me every morning and every night. So what do you do? Because I'm, I think I thought I was tough, but when I get married, I become very sensitive. And I am very sensitive to one person. Do you know what's one person? That's my wife's comment. So every time I send a message in my head, well, hey, how was it? And then she, she tried to be the nicest lady, and then she said, oh, the, the Bible message was very good. Come on, what's the message? Okay. That means it does bad. And then, and then, and then, and then, you know, I, I try to love her, and then sometimes I yell at her and be not, not nice to her. time to look at Christ and the church. Just as Christ loved us along the way. And that's the our foundation. So if you want to have a secret of marriage. Let me tell you. Marriage is not going to be easy. And it'll be one of the most challenging part in the UK. What can you make one plus one equals one, okay? It's a mathematical impossible. So we need the power of Jesus for Christ, who made everything new. And then we have to do that. And then we, we, we pray that we can raise many men and women of God who are so much founded by gospel to this. When the things happen, they don't go to mother and father and cry. But go to Christ and look at him and how he loved us. Is our problem. Okay, so so I guess what I last week I bumped into Doc Browning. Okay, so he, he's one of my one of our first Bible students. And last year uh, he married. And I was very happy to see him. You know, I went to Bloomington and I, 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 I bumped into him, okay? So I asked him, what's going on with your life, your marriage life? So he gave, he, he, he did a few short uh, uh, testimony on this marriage, okay? So uh, can we listen to it? Okay, let's listen to it. Close the door. Let's listen to him, okay? Okay, listen carefully. A lot of work, okay? <laughs> and then next one. Okay. Now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the first year of marriage has been hard, but I mean, I still love my wife very much. I have no regrets. I would do it again. So, But you actually live with someone you know him a lot differently than you did before. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, so he did the he did the gospel, okay? So marriage was not easy, okay? But he said he was okay. Because he learned the most. And then uh, he loved his wife. And then he became a man. He loved his father's mother. And then he was so I think that's the, our profound mystery of Christian life, is this. At the center of our marriage is who's there? It's Christ. And how we can see Christ the most, and we said, 5-1, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. And that is the secret of marriage. You know, you try to 
you try to be like a vacuum cleaner and try to suck love from your husband and wife, and life sucks. Life sucks majorly. But instead, you decide to look at Jesus and give himself yourself. And then you try to give, and you love Jesus. And this is very contrary to our, our uh, cultural norm because we are here to get something. We are here to yoga to get education. So then we can be the biblical marriage concept is what? It's about Christ and the church. So, and then how we can practice that with Christ and church. And people say, hey, I'm not married. Why are you, why are you giving me this kind of message? No? I'm not interested in marriage. Okay, then I'll give you this one. Okay, so that means let's, 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 let's practice Christ and the church. Okay? Christ and his people. So, uh, for example, Jay Park, he opened his house so that he can open a house so he can uh, love us in his clean apartment and then feeding some several students. So that uh, in this singleness, he can say, I can take care of my students and Christ and the church. So, uh, it's not just the biblical principle is not just marriage there, but every aspect of your life. And also, Evan uh, uh, told me the story yesterday that why he studies. He studies hard, lonely, much gives lots of headache. But he said, I study because I want to look at the word of God. And in some way, I want to contribute to society to make this world better. That's, that's the Christ and the church concept. Right? So, uh, life can be profoundly disappointing to people who want to, like a vacuum cleaner, high performing vacuum cleaner. Okay? You suck it and suck it, and you, you tell them, why? My life sucks. You know, my, you, my mother sucks, and my children sucks. You know? <laughs> you end up okay, for reason, but, but at that time, you, you, you look at the Christ in the church, and then you, you anchor it, and then you can say, I know it's hard, but you show me how to do it. I will try to follow you, and then you can have the joy. And you can be most glorious because you seem like your life is watching. No, who is the most glorious person? Jesus in his face. And then you become the most glorious person. So, uh, can we read uh, 31 and 32? And then, uh, really, uh, let's memorize this one, okay? Uh, and then think about the profound secret of our Jesus Christ. In the marriage, okay. Let's pray. Okay. Okay. For this reason, a man will be a father and be like his wife. The two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery. I am talking about Christ and the church. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, Thank you for teaching us the secret of marriage. Please help us to learn the Christ and the church. You have many, you made a marriage. So you have many things about marriage. But we are so proud. We want to have our own way. But teach us the Christ and the church so that just as Christ gave himself up for us, we too have the center of our marriage, the Christ. And then help us to learn the secret of our marriage. Please help us to repent all our sins. And then be gracious to us.
money come to you because you are always there for us and raise us and teach us how to do and then when you follow Jesus we know that it can be the most challenging but it can be the most glorious because we follow and we become the limited of God right now life. This week help us to deeply meet it and the Christ and the church. And then uh, to help us to please you even one way. And, and grant us your grace. I pray in just a minute. Let's sing in Christ alone.